In the modern age, you know you've arrived when you have an app for everything you do. And now, we have a really special fishing app. Cal Gonzalez, ladies and gentlemen, 2013 iCast. And I'm here with Dave Ross of iBobber, who is about to show us a really interesting app. Dave, why don't you explain what we've got here? Well, Cal, what we've got here is we've actually got a fish finder that you can cast. So before it was just mounted to your boat, and you could see underneath the boat. Now you can cast up to 100 feet away. It syncs with Bluetooth, and it shows up the fish underneath the bobber on your smart device, whether it be an iPhone or whether it be an iPad. So this is actually a sonar, fish finder, and bobber all in one with its own app. Correct. Well, it's a, it's a fish finder that, again, has an app that sits on your phone, and they sync, they talk to each other, which is great. You no longer need a big unit. You don't have to mount it on your boat. You slip, it's basically the fish finder that fits in your pocket. And so when an angler gets one of these, and there will be some who have got to have this just for their iPhone, what are the procedures they need to do to get this thing working and online? It's really simple. You tie your line to the fish finder, to the bobber, if you will. You cast it up to 150, 100 feet away. There are two little troids on the bottom. When those hit the water, it turns on. Automatically starts sending you a signal up to 150 feet below the surface of what's between the bobber and the bottom. And as fish swim by, ping, it's on your phone. And I understand that you can also use the app to create a fishing log. Correct. We have within the app, we have a fishing log, we have GPS, we have weather, we have salinity, water temperature. We also um, have the ability to archive what kind of fish you caught, how many, your location. You get to name what your trip was, what your adventure was. There's a lot to within the app past just finding fish. Is it, dif is it difficult to learn how to use? No, actually, we even considered not having a manual. That's how simple it is to you. The manual will be about eight inches long, an accordion. It's, it, you should be up and using it, with I would say, within four or five minutes. So what happens is once it hits the water, it automatically starts seeing the fish. On the left, you'll have your depth scale. And in the center, you'll have your fish and individual depth scales. In addition, there's a lunar calendar that gives you the sunrise, sunset, moonrise, moonset. There's the weather, and right here, we're in Las Vegas, it's 104 degrees. So, but it also gives you wind, temp, wind speed, direction, barometer, and percent chance of rain. It gives you a trip log, and we can actually create a trip. So right now, we're at ICAST. The conditions here are calm. The type of fishing we're doing, well, let's say we're spin. The lure, let's say we're using a popper. The number of fish caught was 69, 693. Caught some small bass, I caught those. Bluegills, I caught six. I caught some marlin. And then when I put them all together, it gives me a count. I can also put in the weight of my largest one, and then I can save it all, and there I have it. And if I want to get rid of it, I just delete it. So one of the nice abilities, one of the nice features of the iBobber app is that you're able to map the waterbed. So if I tap the Explore, and now I've cast it out up to 100 feet away where it's connected to Bluetooth to my device, I click OK, I get a count, three, two, one. Now I begin to reel it in. And what's happening now is I reel it in. It is, in a sense, collecting all the data from the bottom. And then when I click OK, it is now mapped the waterbed. Cal Gonzalez here at iCast, and yes, there is an app for that.